Hmm. No change. I'm no expert, but I think they'd have kicked in by now. Like when I got so sick after secretly eating that filter fish. Ugh, those were bad times. Never been able to look at fish the same way again. Must be something else we can try. Should I ask Moreau? No, she's too busy. Sunny? Oh, Fishy, can't you just get better right now so I don't have to go see her again? I mean, I will. For you. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water. Okay, please be upstanding or seated, whatever you're most comfy with. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. All water compliments you on your choice of destination.
or water. We get you where you're going. Hello again again. Hey, Sonny. Listen, those... Still struggling with your secret life form and or a bizarre personal health issue? Yeah, a bit. I mean, the life form. You know, Harold, there's no shame in admitting you need help. I mean, sometimes it's a spiritual illness. Sonny, I'm sorry, I can't tell you. But it's urgent. Didn't the antibiotics work? They didn't seem to. Nothing works like it should with this. Hmm, well, I'm not a doctor or a vet, but there's one other thing we could try. Does your pet have antimicrobial proteins, any autoimmune disorders, or any kind of history of compromised transferring levels? Uh, it's hard to say. Harold, think. I can prescribe this floxifen, but it'll only work on a totally non-compromised immune system. I get it, but I want to try. It might help. Okay, are you sure you're sure? I mean, I also have isogerm, which is similar, but it's really dangerous to use on anything with high histamine levels. Ah, uh, um... Just take a minute to think carefully. I'd hate for anything to go wrong. Um, let's go with the floxifen. I'm sure it'll help. Okay, Harold. Here you go. Let me know how it all goes. Will do. Thanks again, Sonny. Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest... Uh, and all water will make it up to you. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Professor? Ah, Harold, just in time. Hold this, would you? Sure, but... Oh, what is that? It's just a swab. Samples are important. Important to us or them? One and the same. I know you're feeling protective of Fishy here, but the more we know, the better. Hmm. So what will that Fishy swab tell us? Understanding of their biology could shed light on our own human physiology. Advance philosophy. Tell us how alien life came to be. Oh, okay. That does sound kind of cool. I just hope it tells us how they're feeling, too. Knowledge is power, Harold. Keep an eye on them. I'll be back soon. Roger. Hey, Fishy. Moreau is a bit obsessed, but I'm sure she won't forget about making you better. And I'll be helping. For all the good that will do you. Hang in there, buddy. Okay, let's see if these help. The things I do for you, Mr. Fishy. Well, Sunny was confusing as ever. Do I miss her? No, not really, but you know, we had some good times. She taught me a few things. Oh, about life and stuff, I guess. And what culture is. Do you have someone special? Do your kind even have special people? I wonder if you all look the same. Or feel emotions. I wonder what it'd be like to not feel emotions. Harold! Huh? Oh, Professor! Oh, beeping! 
Professor! What are their vitals? Uh, very quickly. I... What's happened here? Speak clearly now. I, I just... I'm sorry. The antibiotics weren't working, so I went to see Sunny, and she asked me a bunch of weird questions, and then gave me something else to try on them, and... What did she give you? It was... I think she said it was called Fluxiderm? Did she mention antimicrobial proteins or histamine levels? Yes, those things. Okay. Well, there's no such thing as Fluxiderm, but I think I know what we're dealing with. It was Fluxa, or Germ, something. Oh, Harold, move. It's going to be okay. Just let me... Okay. They're going into anaphylactic shock. Harold, there should be some adrenaline on the shelf. Hand it to me quickly. Okay. This should stabilize them. Professor. Fishy. I'm so sorry. Harold, I know you were just trying to help, but Fishy isn't a duct or a filter you can just whack around until it works again. I know. I know. Look. You told me enough information for us to save them. No harm done, it seems. Fishy is stabilizing. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, Professor. There's no point in beating yourself up, Harold. You live and learn. Go and settle your nerves. Yeah. Okay. I'll try. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Ah, oh, Harold, there you are. Look, I got us the best table in the house. Oh, hey, Bridget. Thanks, it looks tasty here. Sit down, sit down, come on. What are you having? I hear the fish is very good. Which fish? Actually, I'm not sure I feel like fish anymore. Oh, you had a bad experience with it? Um, kind of. So, Harry, how's life been treating you? Oh, you know, keeping fishy. What? Uh, you know, keeping busy. Okay, that's good to know. Moreau treating you well? Sure, she's very Moreau. Yes, Thoreau should be her middle name. No, no, I said she's very Moreau, like, she doesn't change much. But that's nice, too. Ah, yes, I've always admired that about her. Does she have a real middle name? I don't think so. But when I was younger, I thought it was Jeanne, and that her first name was Professor. <laughs> Adorable. Anyway, if you do ever want a change of pace, you can always come and work for me, you know? Like a little sabbatical. Oh, thank you. If I ever get the time, that'd be fun. You like algae, right? 
Is that on the menu here? No, nope. at least I hope not. You know, actually, I did kind of make a mistake. I'm sure it'll be delicious. I mean that I did something dumb recently. Silly mistake, but it could have been really serious. We all make them, Harold. I mean, look at Felix. Um... Oh god. No, I, I don't mean he was a mistake. He's just a bit... wayward. But that's probably my... I mean, our fault. I just sometimes wish I could know more about stuff. Ah, knowing stuff is overrated. You think you know something, then it's wrong in another context. Or you realize you were looking at the wrong thing, and before you know it, you're an all-water energy consultant. But how often do you do things that could be dangerous? I work with energy, so all the time. But there's a difference between knowing loads and being wise. So being wise is... I think it's being kind and knowing what you don't know. And seeing deeper than just what something appears to be. Hmm. You know, everyone can make mistakes. But not everyone can learn from them. Thank you, Bridget. Gigantic energy implications if handled correctly. Exposed to the right level of radiation. Hmm. Or oh, heat activation potential. Hmm. Uh, Professor? Yes, Harold, yes. These glowing particles I swabbed from fish's skin might not be that spectacular on their own, but they do have their own kind of beauty. You see? Please slow down. I don't see it all. You will when you inspect them under a microscope. They seem to give off an inner light, and since I've been looking, it's not dimmed at all. So, they're a light source? More than that. They might be our miracle, our only hope of relaunching on time. Whoa, so they're a power source. Quite so. Light is an energy, so I thought about testing their effect on our bacteria cultures. Watch this. Look. When the particles interact, the cultures undergo massive mitosis and give off enough radiation. Ah, it's growing. It's going to outgrow the dish. What if it never stops growing? <laughs> Not to worry, it does. And you can, uh, discourage the growth, like so. Ah. Whew. Okay, that's very cool, but isn't it dangerous? Only if someone much less meticulous than I tried the same little experiment wrong. 
Yes, you'd be chasing down rogue bacteria for hours. So keep this to yourself for now. You don't have to ask me twice. So, the particles clearly have fantastic proportional kinetic potential at even a moderate temperature. And crucially, their rate of radiation is highly regulated. Now we need to know more. Okay, well, as soon as Fishy is awake again, I'll ask. See that you do. Now, let's get over to the arcades. We don't want to miss the new start procedure presentation. Assembled Fedorans, it is my almost incalculable pleasure to introduce these two demonstrations today. Each will explore a different potential relaunch procedure in model form, giving you all a realistic look at the science behind it all. Not that it will affect our decision on which to prioritize in any way, but please do cheer for your favorite. Without further ado, please welcome Cyrus Soleil and his representative computer model simulation of the factors involved in a relaunch to the stage. Okay, hi everyone, thanks uh, for coming, I mean, to watch this presentation. Uh, there's a lot of science, so I thought I'd just show you the computer model. <clears throat> so, uh, here it goes. This is not supposed to, uh, but you see, in a way, this proves the importance of considering every angle. And with just a few calibrations, I'm sure. That's quite enough, Cyrus, thank you. Moving swiftly on. Slipmeyer, will you please present Blow and Go to the audience, please? Absolutely, Madam CEO. Please witness the future of Fedora. A launch plan not just to the stars, but for the superstars you all are. The following presentation is brought to you by the Schlitmeyer Foundation. Putting trust in humanity's dreams for hope. In partnership with All Water Corp, making life flow. And sponsored by Slippy's Winter Sports Goods. Chill times all year round. The Fedora, our home, trapped, together, all of us, underwater, but no more. It's time we grabbed Destiny with both hands and say, Destiny, meet Project Flow and Go. We begin by rolling up our sleeves for some good old fashioned hard work, starting with making the Fedora whole again. Once we're back in one piece, and good as new, apart from a few seaweed stains and a little rust, we'll utilize the awesome power of Slippy's patented aircon technology to freeze the ocean water around the base of the fedora. Why? Well, did you know ice is 9% denser than water? That's what makes those ice cubes float on the top of your soda. Are you catching on? Here comes the kicker. The giant ice flow attached to the fedora will rise up from the depths and help us go back into the atmosphere. Once we're airborne again, we'll have to say goodbye to our flow, but we'll never forget it and reignite not just our thrusters, but also our hopes and dreams. The stars await. Let Slippies and the fedora, powered by Slippies aircon technology, Take you there. Well, I think it's fair to say the people have spoken. But I thought you said it wasn't a vote. It's not. I just happen to agree with them. I'm not convinced your uh, model is quite up to the rigorous standards we need. 
Slip Meyer's model shows a lot of vision and attention to detail. It didn't show any attention to detail that matters, just sparkles and... I think it's best we, um, put a freeze on your project, Cyrus. I'm sure you have much more important things to do for the station. No hard feelings, eh, Cryus? Mmm, no, it's... Wait, what did you call me? We all want what's best for the Fedora, eh? Wish me luck! Hmm, something is afoot. Too many things that don't add up. And you know how I hate bad arithmetic. Right. Like why my model failed. And why all water went with a patently observed option. And why the tube fares keep going up. Yes, and why... Wait, Harold, I really don't think that part is connected. And why did they want us to keep going without letting us know about Slippy? Now that I think about it, there was something weird about his presentation. Yeah, 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 he seemed even more infuriatingly self-important than ever. Okay, name-calling isn't going to get us anywhere. Let's look at the facts. There's the energy shortage that Bridget told me about. We know which star procedure is most popular, even though it'll never work. Oh, oh maybe they're planning on that. Hmm. Are you positing a secret all-water plan, shielded by a deliberately untenable public one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, you mean Slippy's right? Yes, I mean Slippy's, but yours is clearly missing something too. Yeah, I, I know, but the foundations are sound. I just need to pinpoint what went wrong. Did you double-check the velocity correction? Uh, of course, but the power differential... Yes, yes, I know, but that doesn't mean anything without a variable energy diffusal. So you keep saying, but unless we run the model enough times... If I could just... All models are false, so... All very good and well to say, but we have to base our tests on something. A waste of time without more information first. We'd be the blind leading the... Every new step opens up new vistas. What is that supposed to mean? That if we just start... We'll have more information with which to... I don't know why you're bringing philosophy into this. It's a matter for science. Hey, philosophy is a science of the mind. Well, do you mind focusing on the science of... Yeah, the variable energy diffusal, yes, yes, I know. Well, if you know, then why can't we model it first? But you said all models are wrong. Turn a phrase. Don't get caught up on semantics. Well, I wonder if my source data is erroneous. I'm sure I checked my calculations. You're blaming the source data now? I'm not blaming it. I'm accusing it. You'd know if you'd interrogated the velocity correction ranges. Of course, but the power differential... Yes, yes, I know. But that doesn't mean anything without a variable energy diffusal. So you keep saying, but unless we run the model enough times... All models are false, so... All very good and well to say, but we have to base our tests on something. A waste of time without more information first. We'd be the blind leading the... Every new step opens up new vistas. What is that supposed to mean? That if we just start, we'll have more information with which to... I don't know why you're bringing philosophy into this. It's a matter for science. Hey, philosophy is a science of the mind. Well, do you mind focusing on the science of... Yeah, the variable energy diffusal, yes, yes, I know. Well, if you know, then why can't we model it first? But you said all models are wrong. Turn a phrase. Don't get caught up on semantics. Well, I wonder if my source data is erroneous. I'm sure I checked. Ugh, more graffiti. With great power comes great responsibility. Huh? Makes sense, I suppose. But I wish they'd think of who has responsibility for cleaning. It's taking me great power to get it off. Ah! Who? What? 
Don't panic. I'm a friend. Well, friends shouldn't scare other friends. What's this all about? Can you go into the shower and close the door? This is a strictly off-the-record conversation. Okay, I'm in. What's happening here? Okay, okay. Listen, we need a man we can trust. Who is we? Oh, right. Yeah, the Light Keepers. What? The Light Keepers? Uh, yeah, that's us. Whoa. So, how many of you are there? Well, it's just me in here. But, I mean, there are lots of Light Keepers. We are Legion. I'm one of them. An important one. Wow. So, how do you know you can trust me? I mean, you can. But, how did you know that... I guess you have eyes and ears everywhere. Secret informants and... and... Yeah, all of that stuff. You can recommend it by a secret source. Right. Wow. Okay. So, what do you need? What we need is proof. All water are planning something. We know it. We just can't prove it yet. Yes. How can I get proof? I am not very actually a uh, detective. Actually? When? Oh, just listen. The shaft above here leads to the CEO's office. But we know there's going to be an important meeting happening there shortly. Ah, uh, yes, that shaft is freezing. Thanks to Slippy's new and improved AC. We know, but we planned around it. First, you'll need to procure a small camera. Our intel has narrowed the location of one down to Moreau's lab. You'll need to distract her, steal the camera, and make it back to us undetected. Oh, okay. I think I can do that. Good. Time is of the essence. Meet me back here as soon as you have the goods. Will do. How do you know about the meeting, by the way? A network of hidden informants? Ah, uh, no. We just snooped in the CEO's diary during one of our open-door policy days. Oh, okay. I suppose I'd better get to it. God speeds the prefish. Wow, I get a call name? Yes, and good luck. Looking for something, Harold? Uh, um, uh, I'm looking for the, you know, the little video camera. Ah, uh, yes. The Pentasonic Mark II. If you say so. Have you seen it? Of course I have. What you mean is, do I know where it is now? Yes. Do you? No. Ah. I really need a professor. I'm too busy to help you rummage around. Anyway. Didn't you have it last? Oh, did I? I'll check in my room. I'm sure it's not in there, though. All models are full, so... All very good and well to say, but we have to base our tests on something. A waste of time without more information first. We'd be the blind leader... Let's take a better look at this doodad. Oh, the camera. Excellent. Yes, yes, I know, but that doesn't mean anything without a variable energy diffusal. So you keep saying, but I'm listening. Okay, here you go. Let's see. Yes. Perfect. Let me just make a few quick modifications. Uh, what's all this? Monocam. Huh? What's it going to do? Mobile secret reconnaissance, of course. Come on, let's get going. We don't want to miss anything important. Okay, so what should I do with it? Start by placing it in the shaft. 
Then you'll need to use the remote controls to navigate it to the CEO's office. Then you'll need to find a good view to record it all from, drive it back out of the shaft and into our welcoming arms, all in the name of truth. Right. Okay. I think I can do that. You don't want to drive? Uh, uh, I would, but, uh, I'm not so good with remote spatial awareness, and, you know, someone like you has experience with control panels. Oh, well, if you're sure. Right-o, Motocam. Let's take you for a drive. Okay, Madam CEO, I'll be going now. Yes, I believe you shall. Godspeed, Slipbuyer. Godspeed. Yes. Is that Dr. Computer? What? It's me, Castle Chop. The password. Oh, for goodness sake, must I? Okay, fine. It's Kutsu Hung Shiny Prize. I'm just calling in to say you may commence stage D as discussed. Do you have everything you need? Very well. Keep me in the loop. Time is of the essence. Yes, yes, okay, okay. Goodbye, Doctor, and don't let me or the fedora down. Righto. Eight, R, three, M, N, four. Open. Oh, hello, my lovelies. Listen to your beautiful purring. So nearly a perfect harmony, but just missing that one last voice. I'll find you one eventually, wherever you are. Gee. What can you see? Don't shut me out here. I'll tell you later. I gotta get to the lab. Slippery fish, wait. What about the mission? <laughs> uh, wait, wait. What did you see? Professor, Psy! Oh, hey, Harold. What's got you more jumpy than a caffeinated frog, hmm? Wait till you see this. I'll just get it hooked up. Okay, I'm waiting. Phase D? Dr. Computer? This opens a whole box of questions. And if you ask me, it's more of a parcel of intrigue. I wasn't and won't be asking you. Anyway... Only one thing is for certain in all this mess. We must continue with the alternative start sequence post-haste. How on Fedora did you get this, Harold? It's a long story, but it all started when I... I'm sure you were very heroic, but it can wait. We've got to act fast. And we should be careful who we trust. Quite so. In fact, Cyrus, I think you should continue your work in the small room downstairs. It's out of sight and should have what you need. Okay. The really small one? Don't whine. Anyway, I have to see Bridget to tell her about all of this. 
Harold, can you take the box of computer stuff downstairs for Cyrus? We'll do. Great. Okay, everyone, let's get on with it. equals x minus one. What about, but that would change the square of... Um, Psy? Hmm? Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hmm. I've got this box of computer stuff for you. Oh. Uh, thanks, Harold. Uh, just put it on the table. Sure you don't need me to stick my screwdriver in anything? Hmm? What? No, no, I think it's fine. I was just... remember when... Anyway, what are you working on? Well, this place isn't exactly my usual setup. I need to expand the filter station control system with these parts. Then I can run the tests I need and access the thrusters. Drat, this is going to be tricky. Different gens of Servotech. The old Fedora firewall is blocking me out so that the connections might not talk properly to each other. Oh no, that'd be lonely. Yeah. Reckon you could go ask Rafi if they can help open a few ports and maybe disable the firewall? I've not a moment to lose. Sure. What should I tell them? Uh, just that I need their system protocol expertise. Appeal to their vanity? Can do. Back soon. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Tommy, hey. What's up, Harold? Not much. What's up with you? Not much. Just running a business, trying to be a good husband and a good father, keeping myself in shape, tidying the store, helping Felix with his homework. You know, not much. That sounds like much. What, that? That's an easy day, pal. I'm basically on holiday when it's just that much. Strange holiday, but I'm glad you're feeling relaxed. So come on, what's on your mind? It's... I was just thinking about those presentations. It all seemed a bit odd and not very reassuring. Do you know what I mean? I think so, yeah. Anyway, I'll tell you one thing. Slippy might have confidence to spare, but if I know Bridget, she'll have a thing or two to say about the energy output needed for such a big freeze. Either way, it's worrisome. Enough for a drink, I think. What are you having? Yeah, I know what you mean. Care to join me? Uh, tempting. Thanks, but I'd better be going. Captain-at-Large Zoya? Oh. Hi, Harold. 
You know, you can just call me Zoya. Or Zo. No point in the Captain bit anymore. Oh, what do you mean? Huh? Well, you know what they say about a captain going down with his ship? Who said that? Well, I don't know. But I read it somewhere. That sounds like a sad story. Yeah. Well, it is. But mine is sadder. I didn't even get to go down. I was born destined to be a captain of a ship that was already down. But Allwater mentioned some kind of research going on about a relaunch, right? And the ship needs running in general. Sure, but all water takes care of that just fine without me. Hmm. Look, I, I appreciate you trying to make me feel better. Uh, at least I assume that's what you're trying to do. But could you just leave me be? I'm chasing a new high score on this. It's the one thing I'm good at. Oh, okay. Good luck with that. Rafi? What is it now? Cyrus needs help with some pretty important research. So I came to ask, is there any chance you could help disable a firewall for him? It's stopping him from accessing the systems he needs. For the research. Could you be any less specific? Uh, no, but... Of course. I know what you mean anyway. Oh, how... I mean, great. So you'll help? Afraid not. Any system Cyrus is struggling to access is old. That stuff isn't my responsibility anymore. I know, but it'd be a huge favor. Plus, messing with that might have knock-on effects. Might even mess with my cabinets here. Oh, I see. Well, um, any tips for doing it ourselves? Have you tried turning it on and off again? Oh, I'll suggest it. Thanks anyway, Rafi. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Bird. Hang on. That's Zoya's bird. Good shot. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Now, do you have any idea what this feathery menace is doing here? He could have damaged all sorts of sensitive equipment. <sighs> yeah, I think I might have an idea. I'll deliver her back to her rightful owner. Okay, if you say so. Just see that she doesn't get loose in here again. Captain at large, Zoya? Hello again. Uh, Coco! Yeah, I found her in the lab. She seemed very excited about something. Is she okay? Yep, I think so. Moreau had to help me catch her, hence the net. Ah, oh, Coco, you mischievous little thing, you. Causing your captain to worry and making trouble for everyone. Don't ever change. Well, I'm glad you're back together. Thank you, Harold. If you ever want to come and visit, Please feel free. 
You should see her peeling her nuts. It's hilarious. And the way she dances when I put music on. Thanks, Soya. I might pop by another time. See you, Coco. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water. <laughs> Enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Hey, Sai. Bad news. Rafi couldn't help. G good news. I got it working. How? Uh, yeah, typical right after you left. Eh. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to message you. I got distracted verifying part one of my double checklist uh, by testing the velocity of a plant stock in a variety of energetic states while varying the atmospheric pressure. Harold? Mm hmm. Yes? Well, uh, thanks for asking him, though. That's okay. Good luck with the rest of the checklist. Yes, I'll get back to it. choice of destination. All water, we get you where you're going. Hey there, Tommy. Ah, uh, Harold, you came. Sit down, let me get you a drink. Thanks, Tommy. I'll have whatever you're having. A man of fine taste. So, how's life? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary whatsoever. Definitely just the same as always. Okay, then. So, hey, I wanted to say about that blue rock. Ah, uh, it wasn't your fault, Tommy. I know, I know, but boy did I feel like I had egg on my face. Those darn light keepers, eh? Always messing about in other people's business. Yeah, but I don't think they're so bad. I'm sorry they smashed your window, but they seem to have good stuff in mind. Well, you've got good stuff at heart, and you didn't need to break my window. But hey, what do I know? How is the shop going? Ah, uh, just fine. The sign has given things a bit of a boost, but new stock has been a bit slow. I'd love to scale back the time I spend there a bit, you know? Spend more time with Bridget, especially now she's working so much again. Yeah, it must be hard. Life has definitely become more busy recently. You got that right. It's good to have someone to talk to. Someone who doesn't mind my grouching. No way do I mind, Tommy. Grouch all you want. Thanks, Harold. I'll get back to grouching soon, but hey, how about you? 
Those filters keeping you on your toes? The filters? Why? Have you seen something? What? No, no reason at all. I got no special interest in the filters. Just making conversation. I haven't heard from Filter Frankie in a while. Guess he's taking it easy. Oh, sorry. Well, the filters are also totally normal, just like always. Okay, good. Well, here's to the filters, eh? Long may they remain at optimal capacity. Cheers. Cheers. So, come on. You must have something you want to grouch about. Well, sure. But I try not to, you know, focus on it. Come on, come on. It's your turn. Don't make me do all the grumbling. Okay. Well, the tube tickets are pretty annoying. The rules change faster than I can keep up. I swear they do it just to confuse you into making mistakes so they can fine you. And it's not like they work all the time anyway. So what are you paying for? I just wish it was easier to get around, you know, without worrying all the time. Tommy, it's gotten late. I, I think I should. I think I should get back home. Okay, Harold. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for sharing a few drinks with this old grumbler. Get home safe. What's up, Fishy? Long time no see, huh? Hope you're having fun, Fishy Dreams. <gasps> did I just... Did I hear you just wheel? <coughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. God, of course they don't understand me. What can I use? A pineapple. A pineapple. Uh, no. What else? Don't panic or die. Please. Just wait. Come on, Harold, think. What's on these papers? Ah, just Burroughs' notes. Nothing I can use. Harold, what are you dithering over? Awake. He said, we you. What? They're awake and attempted to communicate? Yes, I'm trying to tell them what's going on, but... We... Oh. They seem to have fainted again. Harold? You said they said Wii U. Anything else? And some skis? Skis? Pineapple? Notes? Professor, I've got it. Pineapple Helga the Mountaineer. Harold, are you feeling okay? Maybe it's something contagious after all. No, Moreau. I could use a picture book to talk to Wii U. I mean, communicate with Fishy. I'm sure Chris will have some at the school. Hmm. Not a bad idea at all, Harold. I'll fetch some recording equipment, too, in the meantime. We're going to need plenty of samples if we're to decipher an alien tongue. What? You can't take their tongue? You klutz. I mean their language. Okay, but what if they wake up again? Life signs are stable, and I don't think they're going anywhere quite yet. Go on, go!
travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest... Uh, and all water will make it up to you. Oh, Harold! What brings you here? Chris, I need some pictures. Uh, of anything in particular? And you do know I'm not an art teacher. I just need a book. Uh, a kid's book, like Pineapple Helga the Mountaineer. Well, I'm glad you asked, Harold, but maybe you should be challenging yourself a bit. Ah, uh, yes, I will, but I just need to relax. Please, Chris. Hmm. Okay, Harold. I'll bring you one later tonight when I'm done. Ah, uh, no, I really need it now. Harold, uh, are you okay? You seem so stressed. Maybe you do really need a nice book. Okay, I'll get you one now. But you'll have to watch the Bambinos while I'm gone, okay? Yes, sure. Thank you, Chris. Thanks. Okay, okay. You sure you're okay, Harold? No, uh, whatever happens while I'm gone, just don't let them under your skin. Okay, Harold, mustache. Don't let them bully you. Chris, what? Wait. Ciao, Harold. Ciao, Bambinos. Don't cause them any trouble, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, kids. Are you a teacher? Where's Mr. Tinnabob God? No, I don't know. I'm just doing Chris, I mean, Mr. Tinnabaum, a favor. I have a question. I'm probably not qualified, but I'll do my best. Where do babies come from, Mr. Harold? Uh, just Harold is fine. And, um, they come from two people. They're, who are my parents? What? No, I don't mean the two people disappear. They become your parents. So, it could be any two people? I think it's like, uh, two people grow you, and they give you to whoever's assigned to be parents? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I mean, the growing part, not not the... When will I grow up, Mr. Harold? Felix, you'll grow up soon, but don't rush it. I, I mean, enjoy your youth while you... Why aren't you a teacher? Oh, uh, for many reasons, but mainly because... Why does flammable and inflammable mean the same thing? Uh, you're not a teacher, you're a stranger. And I've always been told not to talk to strangers! Is today's lesson going to pick up from Cartesian dualism or move straight into Neoplatonism? Everyone! Please, slow down. Okay, now, who wants to learn about filter maintenance? Here you go, Harold. Thanks for holding down the fort. Thank you. This will do great. Hope they didn't give you too much trouble. No. No trouble at all. Great! Everyone say ciao to Mr. Halibut. Ciao, ciao Mr. Mr. Halibut! Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Hello? Ah, they've gone back to sleep. Okay. Just stay calm, Harold. Radiate calm. Show them the book. Show them you're friendly. 
start teaching an alien how to speak my language. Fishy? Wake up. I'm back. Wake up. Professor, I'm sure I'm starting to understand. No need. The translation device is ready. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's see. Does it work instantly? Will they understand exactly what I'm saying now? Oh. I can understand you. <gasps> I can understand you! Oh. So where am I? Good gosh, I'm glad you're okay. What are you? Oh, you're on board the Fedora? It's a ship. We're from Earth? Well, the ship is. Oh, sorry. Um, what's a ship? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're humans. Well, I see you're getting along just fine together. I've got some things I need to take care of urgently. I'll leave you two to it until I'm back. Play nice. I have so, so many, many questions. questions. So, it's a community based around the energy-giving properties of the particles. Ah, Harold, join us. Hello, you two. Hello. Will you go on? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we get warmth in the air from them. And other things. Like food? Materials? And where do the particles come from? We aren't sure. There is a big glowing hole in the cave that feels very nice to be around, though. Harold! You didn't tell me this earlier. What? I... Oh, Moreau. I didn't really tell him. Not much changes back home. So I suppose no one thinks much about them. Oi, Faye. We need to see this hole. I'd love to see it too. But how do we get there? Hmm. By the way, Professor, did you tell Wii U what you told me about the particles? I did. I suppose I owe Wii U here a thank you. 
My pleasure. I accept. Ah, uh, we you... It's more like she means... I mean, let's retire for tea. No great plan was ever made without it. Tea. Thank you. It smells great, like flowers. Yes, don't tell Cyrus. He's stressed enough as it is without worrying about me stealing from his herbarium. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to keep track of. Like, whatever is going on with all water. Well, we don't know for sure. Only that they're hedging their bets on the launch procedure, and the CEO is acting strangely indeed. And then there's the Light Keepers. What's their plan in all this? Who knows? I'm wary, but at least they seem invested in the truth. And that means for now, they're on our side. Whoever they are. I guess so. Be nice if they stop with the graffiti, though. What's the latest with our start procedure, by the way? My, my. T does make you talkative. Cyrus is working hard. I'm sure he'll iron out the problems he's having. It's just whether he'll iron them out in time. How do you feel about all this, Wii U? Oh, great. So much is going on. It's very exciting. And how about you, Harold? I'm just relieved we could help Wii U. Yes, you two clearly have a special bond already. Oh, uh, what is bond? It's something that keeps us close together. Oh, okay. Are you holding it? No, we you. It's an invisible, emotional thing. Great. Less to carry. We you. Do you miss where you came from at all? Not really. I'll go back eventually, and that's okay. Well. I quite wondered if maybe you'd take Harold with you. Me? To the cave? Yes, to investigate the source of the particles. Of course, I want to go, but I can't just drop everything and people would notice me gone. But... me? And me. Don't worry, my boy. I'll be in close contact. And after all, haven't you been craving some adventure? Oh, sure, but what if I get the adventure wrong? You'll just be observing, taking readings, letting Wii U show you how things work. You trust him, right, Wii U? Sure. There'll be lots of Flumilim to meet. Plenty of Malgaraha to see. What are Flumilim? Oh, that's a hard one to translate. It means... things you can talk to. Like everyone back at the cave. But I suppose it also means people like you. Oh, so it's the name for your kind? Well, it's all kinds. We've not needed any more detail before. And no one will mind if you don't call them Flumilim. Cool. It's just a bit confusing otherwise, don't, don't you think? <laughs> not for us. We all have so many classifications for everything. Even a person can be... Male or female? Now that's confusing. Huh. I suppose that's true. So, do you not have, uh, two kinds of person? Not like how you're thinking. Don't worry about it. Just call us friends. Or our names. Okay, we will do. Great. Then it's settled. Will you? You'll take Harold to explore the cave and meet the rest of the Flumilim. I can't believe it's going to be me that sees it all for the first time. Yay. Oh, but I can swim. How will Howell come with me? Ah, just follow me. I have a little something to show you both.
like to introduce you both to Jetsum, a little hobby project of mine. Used to be a space buggy meant for short-range planetary surface analysis. And now, it will be your means of visiting a very different kind of world. It's amazing. I'll look after it, I promise. Now, before you go, I've uploaded new firmware to your PDA. Oh, what does it do? Well, I developed an update to the translation software based on your discussions with Wii U for use with the PDA. So you don't have to schlep that huge machine around. Oh, neat. I call it Omnicom. Also, you should both take one of these. Where does this go? In your ear. It's an earphone. It connects to the PDA, so you can have real-time translation. Plus, it allows me to stay in close contact with you. Very cool. And it'll work at long range? It should do. I developed a super-efficient transmitter and new batteries for it all using some of Wii U particles. Glad to help. It'll mean that whatever happens, you can stay in contact with me in some shape or form. And Harold? Yes, Professor? Do not lose it. Unlike that toaster, these aren't easily replaced. I won't. I'll be careful. About everything. That should be everything you need. Hop in. I'll be on the radio, and I'm sure you two will look after each other. We you. Let's go visit your home. Thanks, Professor. Good luck, you two. And have fun. For me. We will. How does all this stuff work? I think this panel shows... What happens if I push this? Whoa! Too fast! This is fun! Come on, come on, come on, come on, stop swerving. Moreau will kill me if I dent her hobby project. Seems like you're making it swim calmly now. Yeah. Whew. Getting so less light. Less light means bad distance. It's called dark. And yeah, getting very hard to see. <laughs> I know. It's chilly. Say, how did you find your way to the fedora? Hmm, wasn't easy. Dark and chilly, don't like either. But once I had started, I just wanted to see what there was. Had to keep going. Next thing I knew, very light. Less chilly, lots of owl. Then you, shouting at me. When you tell it like that, it doesn't sound like a great experience. Worth it. Well, I'm glad it was worth it, and that you kept going. On that note, how are we going to get to your place? No worry, I can see. What, in the dark? No, it's more like the right direction glows for me. Oh, everything on the fedora is signposted, so we don't even have to think about how to get somewhere. Glowing directions sound much more fun. So, you can direct me there? Yep, I can see the way clearly. And I'd better turn on the proximity sensors in the dark. I really don't want a lecture from Moreau. Okay, Wii U, you're the boss. Take us away. We're almost there now. Be careful. The entrance tunnel is very narrow. Okay, I think I see it. It's going to be a tight squeeze.
we're here? We're really here? Yep. This is the place. Good job, Howell. Now we just have a short swim. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Very short. It'll be fine. Let's go. Come on, Howell. It's not so hard. Ugh. Land. Finally. Land. Yeah. Oh, I'm on land. Real alien land. Hmm, what do you mean? It's just a bit of rock. Come on up. So much rock. Real rock. Bumpy and slightly warm and... Yes. Rock is okay. It's rock. Ah, oh, Wii U, it's just that the fedora... It's all metal. It's not real... ground. I've never walked on anything made of real rock before. Okay. Would you like some? What? I mean, sure, but... thanks. Walking on it is kind of... Then you could always have your foot on a rock. Thanks, Wii U. Soon. We'll get there. Wow. We're nearly there. I can't quite believe it. There. Where? Wherever there is. Wow, what's gonna be there? It's so cool to finally be here. I still can't quite believe it. It's exciting not knowing what I'm gonna see next. It could be anything. And I'll be the first human to see whatever it is, and what... Are you okay, Howell? This... is your home? Well... not my... our... our place. Wow. Come on, we're not there yet. More to see. So, this is the cave. It's... Whoa. Magical. So much space. Wii what is everything? Where do you get food? What are your jobs? How does everything work? You'll see. One thing at a time. Uh, Howell, I've got to take care of something, but I'll be back soon. Oh, sure. Should I wait somewhere? Yes, at the waiting bench. Sounds cozy. Hello. That means hi there. I thought it might. Tell them I say hi back. Will do. Okay, let's go. Sit cozy, Howell. Back soon. I wonder if it's polite to ignore people here. Maybe I should introduce myself. I don't want to get off on the wrong foot. So, uh, greetings. I offer you human greetings. Gloom? Hmm. Is the translator not working? Let's see. Hello? Gloop. Maybe it needs more calibrating. So, you come here often? Uh, 
gosh. This reminds me of one time I was waiting in the all-water reception office. I was stuck in there with Nellie Hootsalot for an hour, and let me tell you, she was not a lot of hoots. Oorp. Do you know Wii U? Gorp. Orp. Norp. I mean, I haven't known Wii U for that long, but I do feel like we get each other. Same wavelength, you know? How are you finding the weather in here? I think it's nice in here. Warm, but not clammy. And no sudden trots when you change rooms. What's the latest news in the cave, then? Not too talkative, huh? Deep, deep. So, what are you waiting for? Burp. Ah, that. Well, it was nice meeting you. And like Moreau always said, never say more than you need to. Air and time are more precious than extra words. I'm Harold. Nice to meet you. Hi, Oopa. Ah, I'm sorry. It was an accident. I'm just clumsy sometimes. No, no. Ooha. Hello. Data check. Ah, translator needs some more calibration, I think. Data check. Hello. Oh, hello. What's this place? Hmm, can't understand you. Oh, um, am I talking too fast? What's in the cave? Loud and slow as you want. Still talking nonsense to me. Oh, right. Without an earpiece translator, it only works one way. I'll just be quiet. And maybe you'll happen to explain. I wonder if you understand me. It's unusual. Lumbly gloop? Or anything else? Oh, so I can lumbly gloop here. Or... Oh, you do know lumbly. Is he asking me for it? Or offering? Sorry, don't know what else to say. This booth is fascinating. But I think I better try it again with Wii U.
hi there. Please be careful. It's all very sensitive still at the moment. Hi. Uh, yeah. Oh. Thank you so much. Fish in a bubble. Hi. So, um, what are these things? Lupo. What do you say? Ah, uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to understand me. It's supposed to be quiet here anyway. It's just sit and Glupo. Wonder what Glupo is, or art. Maybe the things in the nooks. I don't know why you're talking in gibberish, but please, shh. Oh, I guess it's important to be quiet here. Out of respect, maybe? Shh. Oh, hello there, little ones. Yes, come on, this way. Follow us for tick tickety.
like this? I hope I'm not being super rude somehow. Just copy them. How bad can it be? Oh no, am I... are they... is... is this... Is it... what? What do you think is happening? I'm... getting a greeting ritual... badly wrong? <laughs> no. You're just playing around with those cheeky kids. I think they love you now. What? So, I'm not offending everyone? Well, you're not exactly being polite. But I think everyone is pleased to laugh at the funny alien. Hang on. Do you remember Pineapple Helga? Of course. Such pointy hair. And lovely long shoes. Is it like when the mini yetis did the snowball dance? Yes. They would have kept on doing the tick tick -tick anyway, but they were glad to have someone new to show it to. Uh, okay. I think I get it. I think I'm beginning to understand a bit about how you all think. Yes, you'll get there. Just like when Helga has to imitate a seal to get to the ice cave. Will you? Can I ask you something? Of course. Did you tell them I was coming? <laughs> it's going to be a lot easier if I just show you around before trying to answer. Come on. There. Did a chick. Hi. Could you give my friend here a little something? Sure. The blue po be okay. Here you go. Oh, uh, will you? Mm, no. Give him the blooper dupe. Thanks, will you? This one looks much better. Go on. Um, go on to do. Feed the crow up. Oh, man. Right there. Great. Come with. Come with. Now watch. Oh, trust me. I will. So we tie the, uh, poisy, like so, and then bubblefish. Wow. That's how you fish? Yep. Bubblefish. Oh, but, I mean, isn't it a bit weird that you... What is weird? Uh, never mind. So, 
We, you, I have a question. And I have an answer. But you don't know what the... It's Didemo. Not this time it's not. I don't get the purpose of using a fish to make a rope to then catch another fish with? Uh-huh. You can see why, right? Yes, but things just work like that here. It's not always how it looks. So what is going on? Hmm. How to explain? Things work in cycles. Maybe having a fish isn't the same as getting a fish. When we turn something into something else, it's not just the old thing and the new thing. There is a thing that escapes. We call it the new men. It is a something that is nothing. But it's important to have. Right. So something is also nothing, and nothing can be a something? Tidemo. Just like I said. What's this one? Um, well, the Zoop Zoop, yes. Are you hungry? I'm a bit peckish, yeah. Is there somewhere nearby? Yes, yes, you see. What's happening now? Well, it's... Uh, the result is Lumberly Gloob. Oh, right, of course. Very tasty. Let's enjoy. Oh, I will. But shouldn't we pay or something? Dadachum. No, we don't really pay here. The food is free? It's not free, because it's all free. We help each other, and eventually it all evens out. No one really keeps track anyway. Wow, that's such a simple system. Dadachik, glad to see you enjoy. Always good to Dadachik with a new limb. Oh, I'm not actually a fish. I'm human. By the way, he's saying he's a human. Fish, human, lumberly glue. Ha, <laughs> I see. Thanks. I can't wait to try it. Bye. Let's eat. This looks surprisingly delicious. Yes. It's very healthy because of the minerals in the pond. And the blah and And then... <clears throat> uh, what? Yes, yum, it's good for you. How? Oh, are you okay? Oh, sorry, will you? I zoned out, but I'm super okay. There's just so much that is so new. It's a bit overwhelming. Malgaraha. Was that a yawn or a fishy word? Oh, oh. I thought you were watching the... Well... It's like the way the light reflects from the ripples in the clear water on the cave walls and reminds you of a good time with a friend. A bit like now? Precisely. I see what you mean. It's beautiful. I see something similar in the herbarium sometimes, but I never really had anyone to share it with. This is what friends are for. It's so crazy here, Wii U. Amazing, but so different. It's pretty cool that we can understand each other, at least. Yes, I think so. But maybe you can't understand a lot of our things. Oh, and you understand everything human? Well, yes. Humans are so unpredictable and complicated. There is almost nothing to understand. You're like... The all-water tube system? I was going to say fizz bubbles, but okay. And so, you really don't have money here? No. Okay, that's the one thing I really don't get about humans. Well, it's just a trade thing, but you can trade really easily with it. But some people have more than others. Why is that? Um, some people are more important. 
Remind me what is important. Um, take Moreau. She's cleverer than anyone. We all need her science. Ah, but her science wouldn't mean anything without everyone else to use it. Weeoo, this is making my head hurt. Then let's go. Next part of the tour. So what is this place? I really couldn't figure it out. It's a library. What? There aren't any books. Not books. Osmosbo. We you, I'm gonna need a bit more of a translation. Okay. It's just that... So... Osmos is... Just knowing. That's the best I can do. And... Osmosbo... Are those jellies? You can just know through them. Wow. So it's like a book you don't have to read. Yes, but I don't really know how they... I mean, how to explain how they work. Okay, cool. So... That's nothing for us to worry about. Come on, more to see. So, what are they doing? Aha. Uh -huh. Just wait. They're building something? Oh, or maybe it's going to be a kind of game. Very soon now, you will hear. Oh, okay. I think I get it. <sighs> what an amazing sound. It's nice, isn't it? I call it thrum. The, the song? Or the style of music? Well... Neither, really. The way we make music is more... in the moment. So, they don't practice? Is it a jam? I thought jam was for your toast. Yes, but it's also the word we use for when music is, um, improvised. Like, made up there and then. Well then, yes. That, with people watching, is thrum. Right, well... Whatever it is, I love it. And I love jam. I wish we'd brought some. Harold, are you there? Oh, hi, Professor. How are you doing? What? I'm fine. Where are you? Just had some lunch. There's lots to see. Harold, I'm quite sure there is. But may I remind you, you're not there on holiday. Ah, I know. The particles. I'll get right on it. Speak to you soon, Professor. Good luck, Harold. Don't do anything I would do. Over and out. Wii you. that was Moreau, reminding us to check out the particles. Ah, uh, yes. Right this way. So, what happened to the other flumalum that tried to go down there? Others? 
What do you mean? Well, hasn't anyone tried going down there before? No. It's just there. We know the particles can be used for energy. They come up. Why would we go down? To find out what's down there. Maybe you could bring up loads of particles at once. But we don't need more particles at once. Wow, okay. So, it's never been explored? Well, I suppose there was that one Flemingham kid who explored it. What? And what did they say? Not much. He never came back. We assume he's happy down there. And now that I think about it, there was one older Flumilim who went or fell down. Maybe they're still down there together. Okay. I think I'm gonna call Moreau now. How do you work this thing? Harold, is that you? Oh, hi, Professor. How are you doing? What? Don't ask me. Have you found the particles? Hi, Professor. Wii U says hi, by the way. And yes, we found them. They're coming from a giant hole in the ground. A hole? Can you get down there? Well, Wii U says a couple of Flumalim have been down before, but they never came back. It looks kind of deep. Okay, don't try and go down there, Harold. Is there anyone or thing there with more information on the hole? There is a kind of library, but... There is or there isn't? What's the problem? It's just that the books are... jelly. So, go to the library. I don't care if the books are jelly or custard. Find some information on it you can bring back. Okay, Professor. Wish me luck. Again, librarian. I was wondering, do you have any jellies on the crack with the particles? Hey, what are you saying? Oh, he's new. He says, do we have any jellies about the glowing hole? Well, I believe so. You may need to test a few. I've not really labeled them. Ah, great. So, uh, how do I read them? It's hard to explain, but just hold one close to your head and be calm. And not try too hard. A bit like how memories work. Okay. Is there any way to know what each jelly is about? Just give any of them a go. I'm sure they're all full of great stuff. Yeah! It didn't like being red. Ryu, can you show me? Uh... Um, it's definitely more fun if you figure it out for yourself. I'd love to, but Moreau is probably getting antsy. I think we'd better get back to her before she gets annoyed and puts me on shelf duty again. So, Wii U, how do I read these things? Howell? Actually, I can't. If it's hard to explain, I'll just watch. Read? I can't understand the jellies. What? But you explained it to me. Yes. Well, we all know the theory. Oh, that's okay. You know, I'm not great with human books. Half the time the letters in a word seem to rearrange themselves. Can I just encourage you? 
Breathe deep. And when your mind feels empty, stick your nose into it and remember what's in the jelly. Sure thing. We'll figure it out together. Let's give this a shot. What's that all about? Doesn't seem like this one tells us anything useful. was wild, but it doesn't seem related to the crack at all. stuff about anemone shrimps, but nothing about the crack. I think it's the one I'm looking for. This one definitely has some interesting stuff about the crack. Wii U, do you want to try and explain? You should try. Practice. Ah, okay. Um, excuse me, librarian? Me? Could I possibly take a book? I mean, a jelly? He says he wants a jelly. You may, but you will have to treat it with utmost care and find a suitable vessel to transport it in. Oh, okay, and where might one... He asks where to find such a vessel. You could begin by asking around town in case... Oh, wait, never mind. Looks like I've got one for you here. Oh. Thanks. He says thanks. Well, I got that part. Bye. <laughs> 